Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Baseball Highlights, the Dice Game. Yes, well, Baseball Highlights is a deck building game that has been uh, quite popular, uh, released in the last couple of years, and now we've got a dice version of that game. Let's take a look and see what it says here. First of all, 16 custom dice, that's nice. Baseball Highlights the Dice Game takes all the excitements of Baseball Highlights 2045 and turns it into a thrilling dice game. Score the most runs by drafting the best dice and stringing together powerful combos. One to four players in about 20 minutes, so it looks like it's going to be a roll and write uh, style of game. At least that's the impression I'm getting here. And uh, let's take a look. Let's see how it takes this kind of riff on baseball where you've got human players and well, maybe that's not a great, that, that's more of like an Android player. You can also see, you can see many of them have kind of robotic elements to them. That was kind of the theme of the original game. All right, here we go. First of all, we've got our rule book here. All right, and it looks like uh, the score of more runs than your opponents by drafting dice and stringing together combos. Here's your turn overview. Each turn, you will do the following. First, you're going to roll the dice. You're going to place those dice on the game board. You're going to choose one set of dice to check off uh, on your sheet to advance your base runners and score. Then other players choose two of the remaining dice to check off on their sheets. The pitcher die will remove or advance some of your runners. And then you'll pass the dice you took to the next player. So, sounds like a very simple overview, but as you can tell here, there's quite a bit more involved. That's just kind of the high level overview. I think there's gonna be probably a fair amount of complexity in how you use the dice on your sheet. And it goes again into quite a bit of detail as it looks like you would need to, to uh, play the game. You're talking about the pitcher die here. So it looks like you can either get one out or a double play or a triple play or a stolen base. Now, Triple plays don't happen that often in baseball, so I'm guessing these are D6s, and I'm assuming that's on only one side. But thematic quibbles aside, we can take a look at uh, what else happens here. You've got chained actions, you've got clutch hits, you've got bonus plays and power dice. So it looks like there's a fair amount going on in this little box. Let's take a look at our player sheets here. Fitzgerald Park, you can see a nice nod to the co-designer of the game. Double-sided, full-color sheets here. All right. You can track the information that you need. Here's the board, I assume, where you'll be placing the dice. Okay. We've got just some wooden cubes as markers. No real need to look at those. Not a lot of components to the game, really. Um, Mostly the dice, so we'll take a look at those. First of all, here's our pitcher die, okay? One out, double play, triple play, stolen base, nothing happens. And we've got our, let's show one example of each of these. Double, single, triple, home run, stolen base. Not sure what the W, I'd have to look at it. Walk maybe, probably a walk, yeah. Home runs, single, triple, double, okay. All right, so a lot of these custom etched dice, some wooden cubes, some full color pads that you'll be riding on and a player board. Looks like that's all you need to play baseball highlights the dice game. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.